Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button which is down there somewhere. That way you'll get notified of all the future videos. Today we're going to have a look at a new kit from Flyhawk. This is their 172nd Renault FT75BS. The FT75BS was built on the Renault FT when they realised that uh, the 37mm cannon was just not going to cut it against uh, 45 emplacements that they stuck a 75mm uh, Blockhouse Schneider, hence BS gun, mounted in there. Um, it was accepted for production, 600 were ordered in May 1918. Uh, the first production ones were in July 1918. But there was only 11 manufactured before the armistice in November and as far as known none saw action and only another 29 were delivered in 1919. Uh, Post-war many were shipped to French units in North Africa and Syria. A few saw some action in French colonies. Um, two of them were found by the Allies in Tunisia in 1942 after Operation Torch. Okay so let's have a look see what we get inside the box. We've got a when I was FT75 BS, 172nd scale, kit number FH3009. Uh, one plus one, there's two kits in here, and it obviously includes some photo edge. Uh, there's nothing on the outside of the box. As you can see it's a top opening box. Um, first off, instructions. Single piece of paper, eight steps. Um, the whole running gear, small parts, and put the uh, say turret on top, and then a painting scheme, a couple of options there, which is handy because you've got two kits, and the colours called out Mr. Hobby to me uh, and named as well. And then we have, so obviously, two of those sprues. Seems like there's two of everything in that bag. Duplicates of things in that bag. Two holes. Deco sheet with the two options. And uh, these two small uh, PE sheets. So I'll just quickly open those bags. Okay, so I've just taken one of each of the things out of here. Uh, this is basically the size of what you're going to end up with. There's the main hole. There's only uh, what, 39 or 40 of these built? Uh, there's the main, or the, the biggest uh, sprue. Some really nice detail on there. Nice detail on the tracks, or oh, this part of the track as well. Uh, and the running gear here. It's very finely detailed, much the same as you see on Flyhawks ships as well. So. It's you know sort of to be expected from Flyhawk. There's the track, all in one piece. Could possibly even paint most of that before you even fit it, perhaps. Close-up photographs of all this will be on the website. The link for that is underneath this video. Probably an idler wheel. That's the the new turret. A bit bigger to put the. Uh, the 75mm uh, gun in, designed for basically the um, the biggest gun in the FT-17 was a 37mm, so they needed something bigger for fortification, so they squeezed a 75mm in there. And that's the last sprue, with some small parts, shovel, again, there's the 75mm gun. Um, really nicely detailed, small parts. Um, much as you'd expect from Flyhawk if when they do 170 second armour. They've not done much and they've, we've done reviews of the Abrams kits that they've done. Um, and hopefully there's more coming. I heard rumours about King Tiger, but we'll see. So, uh, let's go through the instructions a step at a time and have a close up look, close -up look at some of the parts. Okay, history in plastic. There's only been one resin kit of this version of the FT-17 produced by Model Trans Model Bow in 2014. 
although they named it the FD-17BS, which doesn't seem to be quite right. Other than that, resin kit, this is the only 172nd kit of this subject, and in 135th all you've got is a couple of resin uh, conversion kits. Inside the top opening box you get two complete kits. Um, you get a colour instruction sheet, a small decal sheet, uh, 52 parts of plastic for each kit, 108 in total, 17 PE parts uh, per kit for 34 in total. Step 1 has you basically building the main hole, uh, just put the bottom on it, um, attach some panels, remove a small piece of plastic from where the turret used to sit, and add your first few pieces of photo etch. Steps 2 and 3 are basically the same, one for the left hand running gear, one for the right hand running gear. What they have you do here is um, basically add the idler and the drive wheel and then you also add, it's basically a, an inside part of the track, not part of the track that sort of touches the ground, but basically a part that's underneath the track that helps drive it. And then you add a couple of pieces of photo etch as well. Step 4, you add the, uh, the track to the two pieces of running gear that you've made. Um, basically it just gently slides over the track itself, or the running gear, should I say, in the parts you put together. And then those attach to either side of the hull. Again, another couple of small pieces of photo edge. And you add the, um, the unditching ramp at the back. Step five is all about adding uh, small parts to the upper sides of the hull. Uh, stowage boxes supported with uh, photo etch brackets, the exhaust and a shovel. Step 7 and 8. Step 7 has you put the three part 75mm uh, gun together and also fit some uh, panels onto the superstructure. Step 8 has you fit the superstructure onto the tank with the gun inside. Also add, of course, a couple more pieces of photo etch. And on the back of the instructions, the painting guide, the colours are called by name, Mr. Hobby, Tamiya, and I think Japanese and Chinese as well, if you can read those. And there's two painting schemes, which is how you said you've got two kits. Uh, you get a small decal sheet um, for those, they're different colours as well. Uh, you get front, back and left hand side views, which would be plenty. So an overall conclusion. It's a really well detailed kit of a relatively obscure vehicle, so it should be of interest to 172nd scaled World War I and World War II modelers since there's those ones in Tunisia. Um, you can do a nice diorama there with a couple of uh, worn out and battered vehicles in Tunisia. It's also a really good value at $16 for two kits. I saw that price on eBay. Uh, $16 for two kits, that includes a few pieces of PE as well, so that's pretty neat. Um, so of all, it's a very nice little kit, and many thanks to Flyhawk for sending along the kit to four of you.